Hey guys, it's just me today. <laughs> hey guys, it's just me today and I'm here to talk about my zero waste period routine. This video is more of a follow up to my blog post that I shared about how I transitioned from using pads and tampons over to using a menstrual cup and reusable pads. So before we get into your um, questions, I thought I'd do a quick summary of my current routine and the products that I use and how I use them throughout my cycle. So at the beginning of my cycle on the first day, I will use my menstrual cup. So currently I'm using the Diva cup. As I mentioned in my blog post, it does kind of leak for me still, so I'm still looking for a better product. But so far it's pretty good and I use um, reusable pads as a light backup and then I just either wear regular underwear or sometimes I wear the leak-proof underwear from NYX wear. So on days one to two I use my cup as my main product and then at night I use like a thicker overnight pad because I don't like to have something inserted into my body at night and that's just personal preference. I believe you can wear the cup at night but I like to use a overnight or like a thicker pad with um, period underwear or something that is just tighter so that it fully wraps you at night and it helps prevent leakage. The third and fourth days uh, are a lot lighter for me so I can go back to a thin or like small size liner or pad and that's fine for me throughout the day. Yeah, by the end of the cycle, I'm pretty much just using a reusable liner and then um, my period is done. So if you have any other questions about my period routine or how I transitioned, you can hop on over to my blog and I'll leave a link down below. So one of the top questions I got after that post was how do you use reusable pads and also how do I wash them? Using a reusable pad is pretty much the same as using a disposable one. So the ones I have are by Hanna Pad and they have these two snaps on one side and then it, they fold together like this and you just open it up like a regular pad. And the way you would put it on is exactly the same as you would a um, disposable pad. You put the pad on the underwear with the silicone feet side down, the pattern side down. You would just fasten the snaps on the other side. And you just adjust it to the way that it feels comfortable to wear and that's how you would wear it. So next I'm going to talk about how to clean the pads because it can seem like a kind of a daunting task but it's actually really simple and I found that the soap that Hannah Pad sells as well has really helped to remove the stains. What I do is I take the pad off and then I rinse it under cold water and then I use the soap and put it directly on, apply soap and scrub it together like this and I go like this as well just in gentle motions and then a squeeze out as much of the blood and like the liquid as possible what i would do is i would take a separate pail that i have i soak it overnight in cold water and this really helps to lift out any stains and remaining residue the next morning um, i think it is recommended to soak for six hours so best to do it overnight i take out the pad and then i rinse it out under the tap again squeezing out the remaining and I try to be as gentle as possible with this so that it lasts longer almost like um, how I would wash knitwear. I have some laundry clips here and I just clip it up and hang it out to dry. If it's really hot where you are it's also really good to hang it out in the sun because that helps to dry it faster and also helps to clean and kill the bacteria. That's how you would clean it. So another way that I've read that a lot of people wash their reusable pads is by just rinsing it first under water and then when it's time to do a load of laundry, just throwing it into a delicate bag and then washing it in the laundry machine. And that might be a little bit more convenient, a little bit quicker, but for now at this stage in my life, I can take the time to rinse it and hand wash them all. So that's what I've been doing. The next question I got a lot was tips for inserting the menstrual cup and for first time users. So when I first used this the first time it actually hurt a lot because um, I hadn't inserted it properly and it just opened up halfway and that really hurt and I, if you read my blog post, I actually switched from pads to straight to a cup. I never really used tampons 
and I didn't read a lot about other people switching from pads to cups. It was usually people who have used tampons all their life and then using a cup. It was kind of daunting switching from something that's just external to something that you put into your body. The fold that I use to do my to use my menstrual cup is the punch down fold. So what you do is you literally just hold on to the base of the cup, put your finger um, around the rim, and punch down to create a really small insertion point like this. Um, there are tons of other folds out there, but this is the one that I found to be the most helpful because the, the insertion point is so small. If you're not used to inserting something into your body, I think this would be a good fold for you. Another one that's common is the C fold or U fold, I think. You fold it in half and then you fold it in half again and it's a C or a U. But this insertion point is a lot bigger so I still prefer the punch down fold and it's a lot easier if you can do it with one hand. Um, it's quicker. And then for removal. So I've had a lot of moments um, when I first started using it where I kind of freaked out because I couldn't find it um, and then I was worried that it was like stuck in my body. But what I found, I think I read this somewhere on the internet or I watched a video, was using the same muscles that you use when you're having a bowel movement. So pretend like you're gonna go poo and push the cup out. It's the same kind of muscles to push the cup out. And doing that while removing it really helps because the muscles in your body push against the cup as well. Hopefully I'm explaining that properly, but if you give it a try, that is a life-saving tip. Well, it was a life-saving tip for me, so hopefully it helps you with removal as well. And what I also find helpful is to find the tip of your cup when you're removing and then instead of tugging on this, tug on the base of the cup and then you want to punch down so that air is released because when you have a menstrual cup in your body, it's suctioned all around so it's not going to come out and that's what prevents the leakage when you're wearing it. So you want to release air so that you can slowly remove the cup. So another question I have is how many liners are enough for one cycle? That would probably depend on the way that you use the liners or the reusable pads. For me, I have a full box. I have two medium ones that are thicker, which I mainly use for overnight because this is not comfortable to wear during the day. And then I have two thicker pads that are small. And then I have three that are like panty liner types. So they're good for light days. The way I use them, I probably use all of these, so I one, two, three, four, seven um, different sizes of pads and liners. So two because overnight for heavy days, I use either the liners or the small liners as backup to my cup. So if you weren't using a cup, then maybe you would need um, thicker pads and you might need more of them. But because I use a cup as my main um, period product, then I don't need as many liners. So it really depends on the way that you use your period products. If you're wearing period underwear, or Nyx wear underwear, or Thinks, then maybe you don't even need liners, or maybe you just need a thin one. So it's really up to you, and it really depends on your cycle. Another question here is, someone saying, I use reusable pads and I need advice on a wash cycle. Do I wash after each, or rinse and wash at the end? So what I would highly recommend is wash after each. At least give it a rinse because the longer you let the blood sit on the pad, the more stained it will be and the harder it will be to get the blood out. So that's just my personal preference. Okay, so I'm gonna do one more question. This one is, what do you do with all the leftover pads and tampons? I have lots since I switched to the cup. What I would do is either, if you have like a few left, just save them. So I have about four or five pads left and I still have a few liners. I just save them in my home for emergency days or maybe for people who are visiting or staying over at your home and they don't use reusable period products then they might feel more comfortable if you have disposable ones ready for them. If you have a lot of the products left over, then I would recommend donating them to a charity or, or an organization that accepts period products because period products can be really expensive and there are tons of people out there who might need them, so I would recommend donating them. So that's all the questions I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that this helps kickstart your zero waste period routine. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them down below and I'll try to answer them for you. Bye!